Hey, so um, I decided today that I'm going to do a group clearing session because I got a cat for my birthday and I'm so excited about that. But guess what? I am allergic and that's really sad. So um, I had a cat before and I worked with a friend and um, I was able to clear that cat allergy. So I naively assumed that I was just cleared of cat allergies. But my new kitty is making me get like hives around my eyes and my eyes water a lot and then my nose running. Um, so I want to clear that for this cat and not only for this cat, but for all cats in general. So Will this work? I don't know, but I'm going to try it. And if it helps me and if it helps anybody else, awesome. So um, I began with a prayer before I started the recording. And I'm just going to try and find out. I'm going to use body code and intuition and, you know, whatever to just see what I need to do to clear the allergies that are coming up for me. And for anybody else who tunes into this and watches this video later and applies it for themselves. So I'm just going to um, be tuned in to all of that energy. Um, so the, one of the first things that's coming up for me is um, ancestral. So I feel like this has a lot to do with um, like some generational stuff. And my mom's allergic to cats. A couple of my sisters are allergic to cats. Um, so let's see what's going on there. So let me just um, <clears throat> use body code here. So, okay. Um, is this something on the right side of the chart? No, left side and energy. Yeah. Is this an allergy? No. It's post-traumatic. <clears throat> physical emotional shock is what's coming up. Okay. So this physical emotional shock does have to do with cats. Um, yes. Okay. Um, is this my physical emotional shock? No. And ancestors. Okay. Is this on my mom's side? No, it's actually on my dad's side. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it is, it is from my dad. Okay, so <clears throat> physical emotional shock from my dad has to do with a cat. Um, okay, so I'm just getting that like he had a negative experience with a cat that shocked him. I feel like he was young and I'm getting a yes. So I'm just muscle testing here. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting a yes for that. So do we need to know more about it? No. Can we clear that physical emotional shock for him and his descendants? I'm getting a yes. So, okay. I'll clear that. <sighs> when I clear things, I just breathe them out. Not kinesthetic release. So I'm just breathing this out. Okay. Did that clear? Yes. Did it clear for him? Yes. Did it clear for all generations past and present? Yes. Okay. So let's see what else is coming up. More generational stuff. I'm getting a yes. Um, okay. More generational stuff. Is it on my mom's side this time? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Um, is it from her? No, from her mom? No, from her dad? No. Is it on her mom's side? Yeah, okay. So on the Allen side, how many generations back? One, two, three, four, four generations back. So, Mother, father, no, mother, 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 mother. Okay, so it's following a mother, mother, mother pattern. Okay, four generations back. So 
do we need to know more about this? No. Okay, so we need to find out what this energy is. Yes. Reverberation. Okay, so it's not a miasm. It's actually um, an emotional reverberation. So that's like a trapped emotion, but it's still like vibrating your whole body instead of just like stuck in your shoulder or in a random place. It's like the frequency is vibrating your whole body. So we got to figure out what emotion that is. Column A, no, column, column B, odd, even row. Row six, shock. Okay, did the shock have to do with a cat? Yes. Okay. Mm, do we need to know more? No. Okay, so can we clear this shock from that ancestor? Yes. Okay. So I'm clearing that. Um, so I'm getting, I'm feeling like getting the impression that I can clear emotional shock like this from anybody's ancestors. So anybody who tunes into this, we're going to clear that emotional shock that may be reverberating for you um, from one of your ancestors. So that's feels really heavy. So I feel like that's a good thing. That's a, a lot of shock is clearing. Okay that cleared. So next thing, let's see what else is affecting this allergy issue. Um, more ancestor stuff. Okay. So um, let's see. Sorry, I'm having a thought here. Um, I feel like there's some fear of cats and animals in general. So let's see if we can clear that from um, our ancestors. So this fear, some of it is fear of like being hurt by cats, like bit, scratched, whatever, or dogs. I'm getting that like a fear of animals biting them. So I'm going to clear that from all generations past and present for anyone who tunes into this session. I'm going to broaden that to my own family members. So any of my children <clears throat> and um, family members on, you know, directly related to me. I'm clearing that for them, whether or not they tune into this session. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and I'm getting like a fear of um, this one's coming up strong, which is probably probably has to do with my mom and maybe even my sister's issues. But I'm feeling it for me too, which hasn't been much of an issue, but it, it's coming up right now as an issue. So what I'm feeling is this. Um, like fear, uh, not of the animal like biting or scratching or anything, but a fear of like 
the unsanitary, like, ew, there's cat dander or cat hair or cat poop or dog poop, like animals are yucky, animals are gross, they're not sanitary. So um, a fear of that um, dirtiness. And yeah, that's coming up like, like a lot. So let me see if I can clear that fear of um, like animal um, germs, I guess you could call them. <sighs> yeah, I'm clearing that. Oh, that one feels really big, like, like there's a lot of that. <sighs> I know there's people out there who don't don't care at all, you know, share their food with you know, let their dog lick their plate. But there are there are a lot of people who that is just absolutely disgusting to them. And um I'm feeling that like that's part of what causes um can be part of what causes allergies. So let's clear that of it is coming from all generations past and present okay <clears throat> let's see what else is coming up here <clears throat> My ancestral stuff no there's some toxins coming up okay so some heavy metals <clears throat> Okay, so I'm getting mercury and arsenic. All right, is this in the, in the people who are allergic to the cats? No, it's from the cats. Okay, so just like vaccines are no good for humans, they're no good for animals, and I'm getting that. Um, that sense that like that's the interaction between those heavy metals um, that are causing them issues is affecting our energetic balance. So it's throwing it off and we are responding to those um, heavy metals in the, in the cats themselves. And since most cats that humans are around are vaccinated, it would make sense or their ancestors were you know even if you have a stray cat or a barn cat or whatever it's likely that some of their ancestors were vaccinated so let's clear that clear those heavy metal toxicities and the energy of those heavy metal toxicities from uh, these cats, especially and specifically my cat, but anyone's cats that tunes into this. We could just say cats in general, I guess. Maybe it'll work. Maybe that's too broad. I don't know, but we're just going to try it. Clear these heavy metals. Okay, so mercury and arsenic. All right, um, okay, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing like a cat. Um, I'm just getting this image of a cat and it's like really trembling and terrified and um, it's getting, it, it's having like a checkup at a vet um, clinic or something. So I'm just going to, see what I feel like it's that fear of um the doctors not not necessarily even the shot because maybe the caddy doesn't even know they're going to get a shot but there's just a lot of fear surrounding that and I feel like that when that fear was then associated once that they did get a shot was then associated with that and it's passed down um you know, more so than even like the heavy metals and stuff, just, 
sorry, just that fear of, um, you know, somebody holding the cat down and, um, and then uh, um, having some kind of pain. So let's clear that whole trauma. <sighs> you just call it um, vet that trauma. We're going to clear that. Okay. All right. So that's cleared. Um, <clears throat> So in particular for me, what is coming up next is both the cats that I've had, um, <clears throat> they were fixed. So they couldn't have babies. Both have been females. And for me as a mother, that's bothering me a lot because I feel like, you know, you're taking away their ability to fulfill the measure of their creation. They don't have the opportunity to be mothers and to, you know, have offspring and I have a lot of friends who don't who want to be mothers and don't have the opportunity to be a mother and have offspring and that emotionally is very difficult for them and I I sense that from the cats as well like that that is difficult for them that they feel a yearning and a desire to fulfill that measure of their creation and they can't. So I'm going to clear that like sadness and just the trauma of not being able to do what they feel they were placed on this earth to do. And I didn't, I didn't fix either one of the cats. I adopted them already fixed. So In case you're wondering, like, why did you get both your cats fixed if you feel bad about that? But I didn't do it. <laughs> Poor kitties. All right. Okay, cleared that. Um, okay, so, sorry, I just had this huge, like, um, it was like a vault. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, but just imagine a vault door opening in like a bank or, or something. And you see this long, deep corridor that's just full of like boxes, like bank boxes, storage boxes, like, like the longest haul of postal boxes you've ever seen or something. Okay. And it's just this huge, deep vault. And um, on each one of those boxes, I can just sort of picture like cat trauma. Like, so this vault I just opened up is like all of my, my cats and cats in general, the ancestry of cats, right? And all of the traumas, all of the deaths, all of the fears, all of the pains and, um, you know, if cats have nine lives, just kidding. But really, if they, if they, you know, just one life, that's a lot of trauma because um, everybody has difficulties and trauma, even animals. So I'm seeing like just this endless vault. I mean, it maybe isn't endless, but it looks endless from the the opening of ancestral trauma from um from cats so i don't feel like i can clear all of that ancestral trauma at once but i can clear the fear of the vault and that's what's coming up is i'm getting like the fear of even opening the vault because it's too overwhelming there's too much and it's too sad so I'm just going to clear that idea that it's too much and it's too sad and um, and then like open that door 
so people can. Ooh. Oh, that's sorry. That's allergies. So this idea that I don't even want to go there is really like heavy. Um, so I'm going to clear that. I think the sneezing is coming on, especially from that idea. And like, no, 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 this is too big. Don't even, don't even try and open that can of forms. Um, okay. I'm, I'm going to blow my nose. Okay. Hi. I'm watching my nephew and he's just being so cute. Okay. So I'm going to clear that. Okay. And I just want, um, I want to imagine and, and allow that vault to stay open and for it to not to no longer be like this hidden trauma like secret i want it to be open and available anyone can open and go into that vault <clears throat> all those boxes are unlocked if anyone wants to open them and release them now they have that opportunity and it's now available for them and their cats um to clear that ancestral trauma and i feel like as some of those um boxes begin to open and and clear the vault begins to shrink and um, those boxes just kind of disappear and they have a domino effect and some of those other boxes begin to shrink and clear so I feel like that is already beginning, that is already happening. That vault is already beginning to shrink as we opened opened it up and opened those, uh, unlocked all those boxes. Okay. So, yeah, I'm getting the impression like, you don't even have to know what all these traumas are. You can just begin to let them go and recognize that they're already, you know, they're already free from those. They just have to let them go. And we just have to let them go. Um, all of those cats who have already passed away, all that trauma is gone now for them. And they can let it go from their spirits um, they no longer have to suffer. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so let me see what else <clears throat> is affecting this cat allergy. Okay. Okay, so an energy. Um... I'm getting an offensive energy. Okay. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I haven't worked on animals much. What's coming up is a cord. And I've only ever worked on, you know, cords between humans. But it makes sense that you would have cords between your animals, you and your animals. Um, And this is this makes sense, but I'm getting this image of like a ball of yarn, you know, like a cat playing with a ball of yarn. And this ball of yarn is everywhere. I mean, it's just like this massive tangled web mess. And that um, that tangled mess of cords or yarn, you know, those are the cords between us and our animals, our cats. So there, and you know, it's like you can have a gut to gut cord or you can have a head to head cord or you could have a heart to head cord or whatever. I'm getting that like these are everywhere. These cords are attached 
in all sorts of places on on us and from us to our cats so um let me see what i need to do here okay so i feel like i just need to brush them all off you know like if like if you had walked through a spider web like just brush them all off of us you know like get them get them off just brush them all off they're not connected except for that we want we've kept them connected but they they we don't have to cut them we don't have to sever them just brush them off we don't need these cords they don't help us they don't help our animals like one you know bond between us a heart to heart bond whatever between us and our animals isn't it's all we need we don't need these um strings of yarn these webbing of yarn um cluttering up our energetic space and they don't need it either it just makes it harder for them to play so brushing those off and allowing those to just like float off in the wind just like just like spider webs okay <clears throat> Let's see what else do we have here. Are those cords cleared? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm getting a nutrient or lifestyle imbalance. Let's see. Magnetic field. So <clears throat> magnetic field is causing issues for us. Sorry, I'm gonna blow my nose again. So, this is a deficiency, no, it's a distortion. Okay, so it's a distortion of the magnetic field. So everybody has a magnetic field around them. You can imagine like the force field from the Incredibles, you know, that Violet puts over her family. <clears throat> it could be really small, it could be just barely around you, or it could be broader, but you know, it's kind of our connection to the earth and it can be distorted. And what I've found is when it's um, oftentimes when it is distorted, <clears throat> or if there's like a hole in it or something that can allow um, negative energies in. Um, so it's kind of like our protective force field and we need it to be whole and complete and not distorted or imbalanced. So let's see what's causing the imbalance for us. And it, I mean, it obviously has to do with our allergies to animals. So, okay. Something under energies post-traumatic okay so i'm getting recovery interference so this type of energy develops when the body's recovery process from minor or severe energies is interrupted and the body's unable to return to a balanced state so that makes sense if you um you know are struggling for years with an allergy um, that would distort and, and interfere with your whole balanced, recovered, healthy body. So let's see what we need to do to clear that. Um, I have a thought formulating here. Sorry. All right. So um, I feel like this recovery interference, like every time that we are around a cat, that's like, bam, interfering with our 
magnetic field being full and covered and perfect and um that's not right we need to fix that because the cat should be able to come in and out of our energetic space without distorting our magnetic field so let's see can we clear this recovery interference i'm getting a yes so just gonna breathe that out okay um yeah then i am going to see if we can rebalance um rebalance our magnetic field fields plural okay so i want to uh, you to imagine like a magnetic field just being whole and complete and then a cat just being able to wander you know how they just wander around with their tails all lazy and brush up against your legs i want you to imagine that the cat can just wander around like that in and out of our magnetic field in and out of our space without it interfering or distorting that okay i'm getting that that is cleared so let's see is there something else we need to do here <clears throat> No, let's see. Do we need anything? Yes. Okay. Some outside, okay, some outside needs is what's coming up. Physical needs. Detoxification. Okay. Detoxing. That does make sense. So we already talked about toxins and we cleared some toxins, some heavy metal toxins, but I feel like we just need to let go energetically of these toxins that are affecting our bodies in relation to cats. So those toxins could be from foods that they eat, foods that we eat, um, you know, inflammatory foods, like soy, corn, you know, a lot of those things are in the cat's food, are also in our food. Um, you know, if we're not super careful with our diet, those things are all around us. So they can negatively affect us and our interaction with other, um, you know, with cats and with other beings. So let's just clear all of those toxins just do like an energetic mental detox and I just want you to imagine like drinking a big glass of detox tea or something like that um, celery juice cucumbers whatever some kind of big detox mix just imagine that going down and through you and just like collecting all those toxins and just flushing them all out okay that's cleared let's see is there anything else we still need to do for these cat allergies, yeah, but it's not something we can body cook. So let me use my brain here. Just try to tune in to my intuition. Okay, so getting an image. It's like there's an energetic block. I'm seeing the Sphinx 
you know, the um, big statue of the Sphinx that's in Egypt. It's like this Catwoman thing. Um, and I'm feeling like just this energetic, like, dislike of all things cat. So dislike of cat ears, you know, kitty cat ears, dislike of whiskers, dislike of like toy cats, cat stickers, cat notebooks, like any kind of cat thing. Um, the Sphinx itself, any, any, um, like anything related to cats, just this like, ugh, I hate cats, you know, just that feeling of like, dislike towards towards that species right um so i don't know where that's stemming from let me see if i can figure out where that's stemming from mm. okay so it's an unknown fear within ourselves like i'm afraid of cats i'm not used to cats i am um you know i i don't know why but, but there's something i just don't like cats right and it's not it doesn't have to do with the cats it has to do with something in us that's making us feel uncomfortable whether that's some like ancestral you know stuff passing down because one of them <clears throat> one of our ancestors had a negative experience with cats or what there's just this like unknown um dislike for cats and I, I just want to clear that like that it's not about cats it has nothing to do with them that's that's you fearing the unknown so let's just release that just clearing this fear of like well, what if the cat isn't nice or what if they hurt me or bite me or what if that's you know one of those um you know difficult cats or spoiled cats or whatever just all of those like fears or worries or questions or anything like just let them all go and and, and there's a lot of hollywood and media um expression of cats being like these evil creatures you know like black cats for witches and cats that you know like i think of those siamese cats from lady and the tramp that just want to steal the baby's milk and um you know evil demon cats like but they're just they're around in literature they're around in movies they're they're out there i want to clear that um idea that cats are negative cats are bad because they're god's creations and if we can just open that that space instead um and fill that that area of our brain instead of cats are bad bad luck dangerous scary evil etc with cats are god's beautiful creations um I feel like that will really help. So let's just change that belief, release that belief, and install the new belief that cats are good. Cats are God's creations. They're beautiful. They're, um, they're beings of goodness and light and joy and happiness. <sighs> I'm feeling like a huge resistance to that. So I don't know if someone, you know, if I'm tuned into someone's energy who's watching, going to be watching this or whatever, but there is a huge, maybe it's, maybe it's subconscious in me. Maybe it's ancestral. I don't know, but there's like this, are you kidding me? Cats are evil. Cats are not beautiful creatures. So... Let me see where that's coming from. Okay, so I'm hearing like a voice like, yeah, cats are, you know, bad. I had a bad experience with cats. Like maybe you haven't, but I've had bad experience with cats. So cats are bad. Okay, 
So let's clear that idea and like disassociate it. Okay, so bad experience with cats does not equal cats are bad. I had a bad experience with a cat or multiple cats. Not every cat that ever existed, right? So let's let's clear that and break that, you know, disassociate that. Okay, and then the negative experience, we're just going to clear that too. Clear negative experiences and the memory, the memories of negative experiences with cats, like being scratched, being clawed, being bit, whatever, um, hissed at, like just going to clear all of those. And I'm going to blow my nose because this is just like, it's like it's flooding out my nose as I'm trying to clear this. Oh, man. That was big. Sorry, guys. But that was like, like a gush of like, all right, we're going to release. We're going to release this. Okay, so um, can we reinstall that message now? Yeah, I'm getting a yes. So we're going to install the message again this time because it was blocked last time. So <sighs> cats are good. Cats are God's creatures. They're beautiful. They're full of light and joy. They bring us happiness. <sighs> okay. And I'm not feeling a resistance to that this time. All right, let me see. Is there something else we need to do? Okay, I want you to imagine. I'm imagining just seeing like cat paraphernalia, right? The Sphinx, kitty cat shoes, kitty cat hoodies, kitty cat ears, you know, any kind of cat merchandise, whatever you want to call it. Um, seeing a cat, you know, people owning a cat, and instead of feeling that annoyance, that irritation, um, I want you to embrace it and, and just send love to that like oh my gosh that's so fun that's so cute oh look at that cute kitty sweater like um send out those types of vibes and emotions um and just let go of the negative like oh i don't like cats like oh wow that's so cute that's so fun that's um what a joy you know um embrace that and feel that um, you know, even if you already do feel that, I want, like, for, for anyone who doesn't feel that, I just want to send out that vibe for, like, all the cat haters in the world. <sighs> We're just sending out that love that, um, you know, and, and that new perspective, I guess, is what we're sending out is a new perspective for them that, you know, they don't have to own a cat. That's okay. But they, they just, uh, they don't need to hate them or dislike them either. They can just be, you know, one of God's creations that they don't own, that they don't care to have. That's fun. No need to waste their energy on negative vibes towards one of God's creations. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm getting a no that there's nothing else that we can do today. So I'm going to close this and I would be so interested to hear if this helps, if anybody watches this and if this helps um, clear cat allergies from you or one of your kids or whoever you watch it in behalf of let me know i love feedback that'd be so awesome and i will keep you posted on my allergies and what comes up with that
all right thank you